Yeah, I mean, being a Chevrolet IndyCar driver is going to be so cool to see uh, you know Chevy Camaro in the uh, in the film, and they've just done an amazing job making the IndyCar series so realistic in this animated film. So I'm an adult. I'm going to go in there and love every bit of this movie just because uh, I can relate to it. They made everything so realistic, and and my son as well will enjoy it. Well, you know about power, about speed. What, what about the Camaro? It really uh, suits the role of turning a snail, small moving snail, into a speed star on the, on the track. Well, you know, the, the, the snail is, is known for being one of the slowest things in the world, and, and here it is going up against Indy cars, which is the fastest race in the world, being the Indy 500. But, you know, Camaro at times can be a bit of a sleeper car, you know, unassuming, you know, but understated. At the same time, a lot of horsepower, a lot of grunt, and a lot of heart, just like Turbo. What ways do you think it's the perfect car to represent the snail? I think it's the perfect car to represent the snail because it's, it's the fastest thing out there. It's got a lot of horsepower under the hood and um, especially turbo. How do you think that um, the story behind it will inspire audience members to you know, achieve their goals, you know, based on... I think that's what the story is, is dream big, you know. I, I mean, a snail wants to go race in the fastest race in the world and he achieves that. And it's um, it, it really does mean that you can you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it and if you care about it enough, if it's your desire. And uh, that's the same way for me in racing.